situations to deal with. A human being is a single being, unique and unrepeatable. Eileen Caddy. We are all unique. We each use this book differently. Some of us make it a daily ritual. Some of us pick it up every now and then. And some of us leave it on the bookshelf and only own it because a friend gave it to us at a meeting. Some of us talk to each other about it. Some of us shout at the book in disagreement. Some of us read it and say, you know who should be reading this? Our boundaries are different. Some hug and chant at meetings, while others don't. Some people are conference junkies. For others, the idea of attending two meetings in a day shows a lack of imagination. We get along with each other. That does not mean we assimilate into one school of thought. Tolerance means more than humoring opposing views. Welcoming differences put us, puts us in a better mind than putting up with each other. Just as we can't solve a problem with the same attitude that created it, if we only listen to people we get along with, we reinforce our own bullshit instead of challenging it. Every unique being has something different to teach us just as we each have a unique gift to share with others. We also come to appreciate others as we grow more comfortable in our own skin. Self-actualization as a psychological concept became part of a popular psychological vernacular with Abraham Maslow's needs hierarchy. Simply put, in becoming self-actualized, we accept the reality of ourselves and our world. We are self-aware, but not self-absorbed. We are present and involved with the world around us. Recovery is an ascending journey from barely being able to meet our physiological and safety needs to a feeling of belonging, confidence, and respect of others. We find our uniqueness and we aren't ashamed of who we are. Morality, creativity, and a sense of mastery eventually come from the work we do in recovery. We feel a right to be here and see that we can have a positive role in the lives of others. Addicts have a hard time being natural. Can I celebrate my uniqueness without saying, I should be this, or I should do that? Am I afraid to let people know who I really am? Thanks for starting your day with hammock reading. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Obviously there's still stuff on the line. Perhaps you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve.